Hi class, we meet again in this slot. I'm going to have a revise with you for the first law clue system which always asks in question 1. So the things that we will cover in this uh, video is the first one, we will revise the type of clue system. Number 2, uh, we will learn on how to expand your first law equation that involving heat and work and then we are going to determine your working fluid inside your closed system and then we are going to see what is your moving boundary work and then finally we are going to make uh, to comp uh, try on one example all right in learning thermodynamics you will need to understand about three things the first thing is your system is it closed system or is it an open system and then you need to determine what type of working fluid you are dealing with So there are two types. The first one will be your ideal gas and number two is your vapor. And the example of ideal gas usually is your air and as for your vapor, it's either water or your refrigerant R134A. And finally, you will need to know what type of law is involved is it the first law or is it the second law so inside the system you will see that you are going to have a closed system and the open system and in this video we will be focusing on your closed system. In a closed system, you have two types. One is a rigid body, and the other one is your piston. Sorry, we name it as moving boundary work. For the rigid body, usually it consists of a tank, a closed tank, consists of a closed tank without any opening, and the system is the one inside here. As for your moving boundary work, as for the moving boundary work, you will often see it, the application in your piston cylinder, where this one is fixed to a certain boundary, and this piston can be extend or retract to this direction that is why we name it as moving boundary work and the closed system that we are going to analyze is inside here as you can see there's no opening and the working fluid inside here cannot go in or out In a closed system, recall back that energy can be transferred in the form of heat, work, and also mass. However, 
for a closed system, the energy can only be transferred in a form of heat coming in or going out and also in a form of work. In the case of rigid body, the work could be comes from an electric fan that plays inside your rigid body. Okay, in this uh, moving boundary work, the energy also can be transferred in a form of heat and also in a form of work but this time we name it the work as work boundary because the movement of this piston is either at uh, retract or expansion will be based on this moving boundary work in your moving boundary work we have the work that occur in isobaric which is uh, your pressure is constant or we have this isoporic which is volume is constant and then we have this isothermal which is your temperature constant we have polytropic which is your PV to the power of N is constant and finally we have idiabatic as for your rigid body you will see that your work will be the work of other which usually the electric fan if the, if the question did mention that inside the rigid body or inside the rigid dam have an electric fan so you are going to include your work other value whereas for the question of moving boundary work you are going to find your moving boundary work based on these five equations inside your notes <laughs>